The next time you're visiting Dallas City Hall Plaza, take a moment and sit by the reflecting pool and maybe appreciate the beautiful artwork by Marta Pan. It's called Floating Sculptures and consists of those two red spheres behind me. There's a lot to explore mathematically and appreciate about this particular sculpture. The first might be just to think about the complex shape that was created for this sculpture. Obviously, it's made of two red spheres, but what did the artist have to do in order to create the unique composite shape there? If you take a look closer, you'll see that it consists of the sphere plus a circular cutout. What kind of geometry did Marta Pan have to think about in order to create that shape? Well, it's pretty clear to me that if you look at the sphere and took a cylinder or a tube and pushed it through the sphere, you might end up with the shape that Marta Pan created behind me. Another question I have, based on the observations that I have about this particular sculpture, is how fast do they rotate? You will notice, if you sit here long enough, that these sculptures actually do turn. Do they turn at the same rate? Do both of the pieces turn at the same rate? How could we figure that out? Do they always turn at the same rate? One way we might do that would be to count how long it takes for one turn. But depending on how fast the sculptures are moving, that might be pretty difficult. So we could look at the sculptures for a longer period of time. Maybe count how long it takes for the sculptures to turn 10 times and then time that. Divide it by 10 and then we would have the time for one turn or rotation of the sculptures. I'm going to invite you to come on up to the Dallas City Hall Plaza, take a seat on one of the many benches, enjoy the view, and appreciate Marta Pan's The Floating Sculpture. Figure out for yourself if these pieces rotate at the same speed and rotate the same speed all the time. And that's Walk STEM.